Yeah, my name's John Eisenlar, and I've been uh, land sailing and ice boating for oh, 20 and 12 years, respectively. I am currently uh, in the process of developing wings as a means to empower the boat, and um, I have a background in racing, and that's mainly why I'm making these wings for racing. Um, right now, uh, these are a few boats here in the pictures that I've made in the past, and the uh, boat on the top is the last boat I've made. And I've sold it now, and I'm in the process of constructing a new boat, and I hope to have some documentation on how I construct the wing on this next boat. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of my uh, uh, process of how I develop my sections next using a wind tunnel I made that's about as crude as the Wright Brothers wind tunnel, but it gets results. This is my wind tunnel here. It's powered by an exhaust fan here in the front uh, where the gray uh, flange is. And it sucks air through this box that has some baffles on the end. And the test section is here in the clear spot. The test subject is angled at a 5 degrees angle attack up, which in turn lifts this here, which is on a swing arm. And the swing arm also has <clears throat> to pivot so it pushes down on this side, which I have a uh, stick that pushes a kitchen scale down. And that's how I measure my lift. And at the same time, I've got another kitchen scale here, and this also swings this way. And the more it pushes back, the more drag is created. So I can create uh, lift and record it, and it, the foil will create drag by pushing back, and I can record that on a graph. And um, I have many different sections I've tested that are all all the same size, but different different shapes and uh, different uh, flap ratio to main wing ratios. And uh, basically, I just start making a graph and keep testing sections and pit A against B and figure out which works best. And right now, I've come on a section that I'm really happy with, and in reality, it worked great racing, too. <clears throat> yeah, I've got the uh, fan turned on on the wind tunnel, and here is the scale that tests drag, which swings backwards, and then we come down over here. here and as you can see it it's, can go up and down and swing back and forth and basically it's just screwed to the sides here which holds it in place and there's different degrees uh, that I set the flap at to see what it what it works best uh, the most lift uh, with the least drag and so forth and over here are a bunch of different sections I've tested and uh, it's a lot of hours of work in this but uh, it's a lot of fun too at the same time plus it's easier to learn with test sections than full-scale stuff and a lot uh, a lot quicker and uh, a better way to go in addition to the wing sections, I also uh, messed around with wheel fairings and uh, fuselage shapes as well. Uh, different ideas that I've uh, been curious about and uh, other people as well. They have them send me what they want me to test and I'll test them for them. And uh, everything's scaled to the same size, so it should be a pretty fair assessment. And, and an equal environment inside this wind tunnel.
far the hardest part of the project is creating the section shapes. Um, I don't use NACA sections except for the flap is a NACA 0015. Um, the main wing though is something I concocted through the wind tunnel and uh, the first step is to make the section shape uh, which is the bottom foil you see in the picture and then the, the uh, middle one is actually the pattern derived from the first shape and it has the eighth inch plywood skin deducted from its um, sides and uh, and then the top is the actual rib I use that was made using the pattern and it was cut with just a, a router um, but by far the majority of the work is this process here in the wing but uh, now that I've got the patterns, I could duplicate these over and over again with no problem. These are all the patterns I made for my next wing. Uh, altogether, there's 50 different uh, patterns and they uh, taper. They go from uh, larger at the bottom of the wing to a uh, small taper at the top. What I'm using for my wing is a main wing here that's half the area and the flap here that's half the area. And the configuration of the flap is called a slotted flap, which when you deflect it at an angle creates a slot down here, which creates a really nice airflow and also lets a little bit of air squirt through here and charges the flap a little, a little better with some more power. Also, since uh, we race, you need to be able to tack it on either side so therefore it pivots either way. Uh, the angles are up to about 30 degrees deflection, about right there for maximum lift. Uh, highest speed is around here where this line gets really nice and fair in there.